What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle. Welcome back to the lab. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell, because you're going to like what we got going on over here. Today, I'm going to show you how to take a few simple steps and turn a horse into water. And speaking of water, why should we not drink toilet water? Well, number one, and number two. Aha, got him. Okay fam, first thing we're going to want to do, as you see, I already got the horse cut out to save some time. First thing you wanna do is desaturate this horse, take out the color, um, and then we want to smooth that out. So we're gonna to go to filter, then we're gonna to go to our camera raw filter, and then we're going to go to our texture and turn our texture down to zero. And if you zoom in, you see that we got a lot of texture going, but we wanna smooth it out even more. So we're gonna go to our details, we want to turn up our luminous to 100 and as you see everything smoothed out and then we turn up our luminous contrast to 50 and we keep the luminous detail at 50 as well all right so that is that portion that that portion that part and then to get the effect going on you want to go to image apply image and as you see we have inverted the this is uh, the settings that you want to have difference the opacity at 100% and invert selected. As you see, that's with it deselected and with it um, selected, you have partially the effect. Now, technically, um, this would be done. We'd be done with this effect, but sometime if you don't have enough contrast and um, shadows, highlights and shadows in your image, you may want to do this a couple more times. So with that, let's hit okay and apply the image again. And we're almost there. I'm gonna apply it one more time. So we'll go to image, apply image, and there, there we have it. This is better. Sometimes you can do it one time. Sometimes you take up, um, you know, four to three, one to three or four times. But we're gonna stick with this one here because I like the way the textures is working. Now, one thing I wanna do here, um, I want to make another copy here and at the top layer, we're gonna invert this part because I want this a little bit more uh, reverse. I want, but I want the back part as is because we have a lot of whites in there, not a whole lot of shadows. We gotta have an even amount, uh, amount of white in there too. So with that, I'm going to invert this, go up to adjustments and we'll invert that layer. And now we have more white. And then I'm simply gonna erase the back so that we can keep the bottom layer. Sometimes you have to do that every now and again. I was talking to my friend uh, Picasso and um, we was discussing how to use some of these layer effects and the sacrifice that you have to use sometimes, you know, sometimes you have to um, compromise. So that's a compromise. So anyway, uh, I have the first part the way I want it and then I have the back part and we're gonna worry about nothing else because we're gonna milk those and do different things like that with that. So now let's hold control E and bam, that's it. We actually done with the effect. Now you can apply different colors and things like that. So I'm gonna show you how we can take this a step further. We're gonna activate our back layer and uh, this was just an image, you know, image I chose. We can really use any image, but I wanted this one because of the colors and things like that. So the next thing you wanna wanna do is, or should I say, the next thing you're gonna want to do, sheesh, talk better, man. Um, go to your image, go to adjustments, drop down. We're gonna uh, go to our saturation, colorize this bad boy. Bam, yeah, he red, but we don't want red. We want, he gotta be more blue, right? He or she, she could be a, you know, Megan the Stallion. No, a stallion is a guy, right? All right, so anyway, um, um, uh, uh, so anyway, we, we adjust this till we make it the blue and you know, you just tweak it to your liking. You know, you can go in here and scroll up or scroll down till you can fine tune it. You want to get the coursey the is closest to the color as the overall uh, image as possible. We're going to make some adjustments, but you know what I mean? Um, we're good to go so far. So we can adjust our saturation. We can turn it down. Uh, we want to, in this case, I want to keep it closer to the water as possible because when I get the splash and the things like that, we're good to go. All right, so I'm going to hit OK, and um, I probably 
I probably can uh, make a backup. Let me make a backup because I'm going to start destroying this layer. So we're going to cut that off and just drag it to the bottom just in case we need it. So now to finalize this, to really make it um, look nice, because if you notice, there's a lot of little rigid parts, right? Looking a little funky. So we're going to liquefy it to make it even more madness, right? So let's hit liquefy. And then we're going to go ahead. And now we can go and get our little finger. <laughs> that don't, you know what I'm saying? That don't sound right. But we can start smoothing it out. You know what I'm saying? Because it's liquid. It don't act. That's that's what liquid do. Liquid do that. So we ain't going to overdo it, but we'll try to make every little part as liquidy as possible. Because it's liquid. It's fluid. It moves like that, right? Now we want to keep the detail, but we want to, you know. So you can have as much, there's no rules. You can have as much fun as you want. You know what I mean? Just try to, you know, move things around. That's what, that's what liquid do. It moves, it warps. You know what I mean? Now don't worry about it if it ain't looking like 100% yet. Because there's still some other drama we got to add to it. You know what I mean? But meanwhile, the stagging is popping. Oh, uh, well, if it's a guy or a girl. I don't know. Makes a stallion got me confused. Stallions, you know, leave in the comment. What is a, is a stallion? A guy or a girl? I'm, I don't even know. We make the stallion run around here. Talking about I'm a stallion, this, that, and other. All right. And uh, I think we're good here. You know, there's a lot of things we can do, but uh, we kind of liquefied that up a little bit. I'm really just trying to break up the stiffiness. If that's a word that makes sense. Stiffiness. Okay. Cool. Cool. And I'm um, a rock ass. That's really it. Um, here, let's do stuff like uh, kind of just drag these out to different spots because we can make our splashes go them different directions. You feel me? All right, cool, cool. Boom, bam, bow. I don't know. Boom. All right. So let's hit OK. And now we got a real silky, milky looking horse. Now we can do a few different things like. um. Uh, adjust the opacity a little bit, you know, so we can see a little bit of the background, you know, whatever, however you want to do it. All right now, this is where it gets greasy and grimy, right? Get another layer, and now let's go get our splash brushes, right? But I'm gonna show you something we're gonna do with our splash brush. Now, so he, now look, I, we got a splash. If I hit that, we see we got some water, right? That's some cute looking water, right? You know, guys don't say cute, we gotta say that's some thuggish looking water, right? <laughs> <laughs> right now, no buggy. But you get what I'm saying. But let's undo that because I'm gonna show you something that's even more popping, right? So first, we're gonna have this layer selected. Let's go ahead and shrink that down, and let's hit that, right? But now let's put a layer style on that, man, so we can really make this water really come to life. So let's hit this in balls here, right? And now look at that. The water got some 3D movement to it, right? And I actually I created a style. Um, hold on one second. I was getting ready to show y'all a style that I created, but uh, I think this is actually good enough. Um, if you notice, look as I shift the detail around, you can see the transparency, and you can also see the shadows and the highlights in the water, and that's just what we want, All right? So um, let's go ahead. We're gonna shrink this down now. So a lot of people are going to say, T, where you get your brushes from? Let me pause this and show you where I get my brushes from. You can go over there and collect all, all you need. But give me one second. So this is where I've been getting all my brushes from. I got hundreds of brushes, and I've been getting them from over the years. I, I don't know if they charge now, but, uh, yeah, you can go premium. But when, I, when they first started, I just collected all the brushes. That's where I get my brushes from. Okay, so back to business. First thing we want to do is um, we keep that there for now. We might erase that. But let's get some splash brushes so we can cover what's popping at its foot. So um, let's look at some brushes here. And it looked like uh, some drops. Uh, we got some more way down here. Let's see which one's suit. Um, this is a splash. So let's get this. Double click on that. And um, I'll hold my bracket. Oh, okay, yeah, that's too big. Yeah, let's see, undo that. And um, maybe I got my cap lock so Let's see, oh, there we go. All right, so we can see the size of the brush here. As you can see, I, I hit my bracket, my left bracket shrinks it, my right bracket brings it up. 
So let's hit this and uh, let's see what happens. There we go. Yeah, nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Awesome. Perfect. All right. Uh, we might can add a little bit more. So uh, let's see here. Let's do some different type of splashes. Um, let me see what happens when I do this one. And uh, let's shrink that down. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, let's undo. Shrink that down some more. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay. And um, now we want to do some splashes coming from the, uh, the, the hair. The horse's hair. So we want to find something already kind of simulating hair. So uh, maybe... Let's try this one here. Okay. Yeah, that looked like a good one, actually. So I'm going to do it here. Okay. Here, let, this is what I'm going to do. Let me undo that. Make another copy of this layer here. And then we'll bring this layer below. Boom. So we can have some splash coming from behind his head. Okay, good. Make it a little bigger. All right, that's good. And um, let's erase some of this excess here. All right. And then uh, maybe put a few layers in front. Let's go back up to that particular brush. Boom. Okay. Now, it's a few other things we're going to do in some, and some other brushes we're going to use. So we can put the same thing here, there, and... Um, some layers behind below okay good and uh, let's erase some stuff we obscure in the body here I mean all those you're gonna have splashes everywhere you know okay I'm gonna pause this and examine it for a second okay I have some other visual ideas here check this out we're going to select this brush again go to the brush and let's do some water with the ears so you can't see the brushes, but when I double click them, you'll see when they come up. All right, so right here, we're gonna use this splash for the ear, right? So let's put it here. Hit that splash like that. There. And then we'll go in there and erase it. And basically, um, that could have been better. All right, so uh, let's see here. And now what we want to do is kind of obscure what's happening here. We got the splashes and they're doing this job, but um, we see lines and we want to blend these lines in. We kind of want to break these up and, and blend the lines in uh, with the, the lines that's going on with that. So now let's pick out some other brushes. So we're going to go ahead and select some more longer brushes. Let's say, for example, with let's try this one here and um, this is a line so I'm just gonna paint it and see how it look and see how we can apply that okay so we can apply that here let me undo that and uh, we're gonna shrink it and I'm gonna just uh, paint here oh sorry about that I apologize we need a different layer so I'm gonna make another layer Or should I say, we need a layer with that effect on it. So let me create another layer, right click. We're gonna copy that layer style, and then we're gonna paste it here. And then when we paste this, we can control it, turn it around, do whatever we need to do, and it don't affect the rest of the, um, you know, the art artwork. All right. So um, the other thing, now this can definitely get long and drawn out as you can see, but um, you have the general gist of it, the general idea of how we can get um, things uh, moving along here. And I'm gonna just make another layer. And this is the horsey tail, right? And um, we can even have the type of fun like, um, warping it so we can go to our 
transform or we can hit warp and we can manipulate it by bending the tail a little bit. Let's do that there. And then let's do another warp. Edit, transform, warp. And we can warp it a little bit. You can't see it a whole lot, but you get the picture here. And then um, instead of creating that, we can just make another copy and kind of bring them up here. And let it uh, do its things. Okay, let's zoom out and get a perspective of what we got here. All right, let me get this water out of here, over here. All right, we can leave a little splash hither and dither because water do be all over the place. Okay, and now it's time to add some big splashes. So let's uh, go back down to our splash tools here and see if we can find um, something a little bigger. We're gonna create another layer so that this can be separate. We're gonna copy this layer style. Copy the layer style, we're gonna paste it and um, that way we can um, get the erase and whatever we don't need. So let's just kind of go ahead and just splash it up right there. And um, we're gonna erase what we don't need. So this is how we can get that uh, unpredictable water kind of, you know, like it's really hard to make some splashes, you know what I mean? So this this would be that um that unpredictable water, that randomness of the water, because you know water is just it just it does what it does. All right, and so now we got a little bit of water in the flesh in there. Uh, let's go back to the horse and kind of do some a little bit of deleting some things. So we're going to do some erasing. And uh, what we're gonna erase is kind of like different parts of his uh, body. Nope, not that one. I wanna keep the details up there. Um, but uh, maybe here, a little bit there. Kind of show a little bit of, a little bit of transparency, okay. And um, let's see. This water getting a little busy, this outside water. So let's go back and erase a little bit of that. See how much is there, how much we can remove here. We can remove some of that down there. Maybe that. That's nice. Maybe a little of that. Great. Oh, look, one more thing. Uncover his eyes. And there's um, maybe two more things we can do to really make this image complete. Well, actually three. One is to adjust the transparency of his body a little bit more. So let's see what happens. So what we want um, I like the transparency. Let's go back. But what we need to happen is, let me show you. We're going to, I'm going to make another layer because if I'm going to make another layer. We're going to cut one layer off. We're actually here. I'm going to keep one layer on and then we're going to, well, let me cut it off real quick. Adjust the transparency. So there's some things that I'm going to want very transparent. And then some things I'm gonna want a little dark. So the things that I want dark, uh, what we're gonna do is paint it in, for lack of better words, or paint it out. So first I wanna look at the level of transparency, and this really actually can go. We really can just work with this. But now what's happening is we're losing lack of detail, we're lacking detail. So to bring some of the detail back, we can um, introduce this. But what I'm gonna do is put this on the above layer and I'm going to erase what I want, uh, what I want transparent. Here, let me cut this off. What I want transparent, I'm gonna erase. And what I want in detail, I'm gonna leave. So we have our transparent layer at the bottom. 
and the things that we're going to uh, want to keep, we're going to do it at the top. If you know what I mean, because I didn't lost myself when I was saying it. All right. So let's start um, erasing what we want transparent. So I want the, the transparent. The legs can be transparent because it is a lot going on down there in the water area. Um, maybe a little of this part, but some of the head can stay a little, you know what I mean? Stay a little put. So something like this, maybe a little transparency coming from here. Boom. And then maybe even we can even, let's see here, maybe erase uh, some of that even, right? And um, maybe come back and put a little splash later. But um, that's it right there. Hold on, what is this? Okay, that's looking really good and um, Let's go ahead and it's one more thing that I wanted to do that I didn't get the opportunity to do. And that is to add some um, life or light into the horse. So that's the refraction that we're going to be getting. So to do that, we're going to select the color of the sky, a little bit of that purple. And then we're going to go ahead and apply some of that purple um, to this horse here. So let's shrink down this brush. We may have to do some fade and stuff like that, but we could probably put it like right here and maybe put it below the horse. Sheesh. All right, that's good. And um, we'll erase that. Mm, maybe a little here and uh, maybe a little bit right there. So now we got a little bit of, you know, got some ambient colors going on there, right? Let's shrink this down and got that. I got that. And good to go. All right, that's looking good. And um, and then I guess there's just one more thing we need to do. Oh, here, let me do this real quick. You know, we always got to bounce some light on it. So let's go to uh, Lanier Dodge. And uh, let's get some little light happening there. You know, it's glass, so it's going to refract and reflect light, right? So let's go ahead and blow this up and uh, see if we can't get that happening. Boom. Oop, that's too much. Here, let me let me undo that. Let me undo that. Let me undo that too. That's too much. We want it to be realistic. Here, let's maybe more in the purples and uh, maybe we can get there. And uh, okay, something like that. You know, maybe that might be a little too much, but y'all get the you get the drift. There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. It's beautiful. I, actually, you know what? Hey, look at that. Look at that orange, man. Where do I put that orange in there? Yeah. Put that orange in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Better. Okay. That's pretty beautiful. Okay, y'all, I think we uh, pretty much got it. And no, one more thing, one more thing. Don't leave yet. Sheesh. I got to watch some of this to the end. We're going to drag some realistic water in there. PNG file here. Make the water a little bit more rambunctious. Right? Although we all know that's not a word. We're going to use it anyway. And this just, this just a little bit more organic. It's got a little bit more movement happening here. And, um... The way to blend this in is to right click and um, uh, rasterize this layer. And then uh, we can start, uh, oops, sorry about that. We can start erasing some of this so that we can blend it in. There we go, like, like so. And maybe even make another copy here. Let's make it one more copy and we'll put that under, push it down a little. Right, and um, here let's do something fun like uh, randomize it by uh, rotating it, flipping it horizontal. Something like that. And putting it behind, yeah, we put it behind and then let's um, adjust the opacity. All right so that we won't be able to really discern what's going on. Maybe with that a little too. 
good. So like I was saying, fam, we might can't turn water into wine, which I would love to. We sure can turn water into a horse. So um, what you learned today is a really good skill to have, um, you know, converting is really that was that's actually a chrome effect uh, that I put on a horse. And I'll come back later to do another chrome effect. Um, but that goes along really good with flyers and mixtape covers and different things like that, whatever you want. Um, to be able to do that, that adds extra skill level uh, to your to, to your plate, to your backpack of tricks. And when people see that you have these type of skills and you have the ability to do this type of stuff, you get hired for the job much more quicker. All right, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to sub, like, and hit that bell so you won't miss a beat of that heat that I bring to my lead. Till the next time. See you in a minute. See you when I spin it. Peace. Thank you.